Sunday, Tennessee became the third state to sign into law legislation banning transgender athletes from playing on sports teams aligned with their gender identity. Leading local in tonight's top story, North Dakota could have been next but stopped short today when the Senate voted to change the bill in a study. And reporter Maddie Beer Temple is live at the Capitol to tell us more about today's vote. Maddie. Hi, Nicholas and Lauren. That's Ray. Although the bill got amended into a study, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's dead. When it's heard in a conference committee made up of both House and Senate lawmakers, it could get switched back to its previous version. If that were to happen, North Dakota's legislature could join the small list of states to pass the bill, which has gotten national attention as governors grapple with whether to sign it into law. The bill initially said Do high school really sports are exclusively for males or females, as defined by biological sex but it would have allowed girls to participate on a boys team. Those opposed to the bill say it would have discriminated against transgender youth and opened the state up to costly litigation. Do you really think any person would change their gender and subject themselves to abuse just to win a track event or play on a basketball team? It's not for us to judge them or make them feel unseen or underappreciated. Bill supporters cited Title IX and say it would give girls a fair chance to compete in athletics. As a compromise, Senator Kristen Roars proposed the bill be turned into a study to examine the effects such a law would have on the state, saying there are currently too many unknowns. Idaho passed a similar bill and is estimating that by the end of it, it will be a $10 million lawsuit. My question is, who would pay for that? Is it the individual's the school that is sued, the Activities Association, the state of North Dakota? Where would that money come from for that suit? I don't have the answer to any of those questions, but they are ones that must be considered before we cast our vote on the legislation as it comes to us. The study version of the bill passed 32 to 15. The initial version of the bill passed the House 65 to 26 last month. And when a similar bill came up in South Dakota this year, Governor Kristi Noem did not sign the bill. But so far, governors in Mississippi, Arkansas, and Tennessee have. Nicholas and Lauren, back to you. Maddie Beer Temple reporting. Thank you. As the drought in North Dakota continues, wildfires are growing.